trailblazer whose impact resonates far beyond their time. For us, his children, there is no doubt that our father, Honorable Dr. John Ampuntia Kuma, was the chosen one of this generation. A beacon of hope, a revolutionary thinker, and a steadfast advocate for his beloved Ghana. Today, we are gathered here with heavy eyes to bid farewell to a remarkable man. As we stand here in Salem remembrance, we celebrate a life that touched so many, a life that will forever be cherished in our hearts. Our father, Honorable Dr. John Ampontia Kuma, was more than just the father. He was a beacon of strength, wisdom, and love. His presence filled our lives with warmth and guidance, and his absence leaves an irreplaceable void. We have not grown as children, but for the years we saw him as our father, we have witnessed hundreds of lives he has touched. As we reflect on our father's life, we are reminded of his unwavering dedication to his family. He was a loving husband, a devoted father, and a pillar of support to all who knew him. His love knew no bounds, and his kindness knew no limits. Our father was a man of unparalleled courage and conviction. He charted his own path, unyielding in his dedication to his principles and unwavering commitment to serving humanity. He was not just a leader, he was a mentor, a guide, and a source of inspiration to all who knew him. We fondly remember a conversation with our father where he spoke of his refusal to emulate others. He was a man of originality, driven by his own revolutionary ideas and fueled by a passion for change. He instilled in us the belief that greatness lies in being true to oneself and that authentic leadership stems from within. Despite the challenges he faced, our father remained resolute in his pursuit of a better future for Ghana. He faced criticisms and adversity gracefully, never wavering in his belief that he was serving a greater purpose. He taught us to be resilient in the face of adversity, to rise above negativity, and to hold fast to our convictions. Just over two years ago, my father treated my mother and me to a birthday celebration. During that time, a prominent figure in our nation had passed away, sparking a flurry of negative commentary in the media. Amid this, my father spoke to me, assuring me that these disparaging remarks were baseless. With sincerity in his eyes, he said, My dear daughter, do not entertain any negativity about me after I am gone. Even if my time on this earth is to end today, know that I have served my country and fulfilled my purpose. I am ready to return to God. Never believe that someone had killed me. No one can take my life. His words took me aback at the time. But now, with clarity, I understand and sincerely appreciate his unwavering conviction. In his lifetime, our father taught us the importance of compassion, integrity, and resilience. He faced challenges with unwavering determination and emerged stronger with each trial. His resilience was a testament to his steadfast spirit and unwavering faith in God. His favorite mantra was, God is my first and last resort. Indeed, he was a man of God. Our father's love for his country was unwavering and his dedication to his people was unparalleled. He lived with integrity, compassion, and a fierce determination to make a change. Even in the face of unwarranted criticisms and negativity, he remained steadfast in his belief that he was making a meaningful impact. Our father's legacy extends far beyond the confines of these walls. His passion for life was infectious, his laughter contagious, and his spirit indomitable. He approached each day with courage and grace inspiring all who cross his path to embrace the beauty of life. As we bid farewell to our beloved father, we take comfort in the knowledge that he has left an indelible mark on our lives and the lives of countless others. His, leg his legacy will continue to inspire us to strive for excellence, to stand up for what we believe in, and always walk with courage and conviction. To our dear father, we say thank you for the gift of your love, guidance and a waving support. You may have left this world, but your spirit will forever live in our hearts. We will honor your memory by carrying forward your legacy and continuing the work you began. 
Rest in peace, dear father. You will be deeply missed. But your legacy will shine brightly for generations. Safe journey, daddy. That was the reading from the children. And as they have their seats, we are going, we are welcoming the widow. Okuna four Edi Nenu Masam Eba. Na baby Otino Emuchi Kakrenti Edi Nyum E Genetata. Two and two. It's here, what was Yama Wapo 
Geography, Emma made it just six months in a B in chains. Okoswa, push me. Mama Manti, and I'm programming you, Mumiko School in Anameo. University where you are, Machida, say it all. Or time, Machisa, Mamiko School in a year. A programming year school, we call it. We are less a co university. As I hear, I'm a catcher and say, I'm a couple of friends. I can be a vessel for people for me. Because <laughs> And then go for it, Apostle Lillian, and no money. Then soon, Apostle Lillian, and you pay it, and I'm John Kumenti, and I'm my Apostle Lillian. Johnny, we must all say, dear, I come in here and show when you're young, who catch them and say, me better me home every day. I mean, make you proud. I don't want to share free me home. And to all my life, you have been an inspiration. You are the reason why I strive to be better every day. I move forward and I learn fast. Just to make you happy. Ya wari emu na ya nya perfect dia. Nan so akoni asenyi na emu uni mboni fefri. Na wo sa ka kire msa ma foboni che. Ebra pa wa fumu emu dia ni penyi na ehwe ni mu se. Akedi ya wari guo beba no. Oba emfa uni ni position eni ni sika ni na ni monyam. Wo akoni ko te jene ama mia na me ya oboni. Ma kuma mu nya nkontom. One of the best marriages. In Ghana, I can proudly say, John and John, our own was the best. why na make us say we be preaching we no be timi aka chira mi sama we yeni say ya kebe yeye. The ene ma me ni je kura ne ne thumbs up. She say ne wa bomodi. Na se mi do fear na wo wa fi me mama so as aka chira mi say the great apostle, the only queen. Ene ma na ni we ni na me kasa we na me bra mi nyawo bi an kebi. Then so me che che me re e wo ni anko pwa se mu. Osanka fo mu mati mi ensa chiche mu ba ko de ko kana mi ensa wasi bibia na wone mere e wasasi so odua wone bre na otwa wone bre owo wone bre na awo wone bre serie wone bre na nisu wone bre ebre mu odemi ni ubo mu se ne abani seia mekoso anso na mejina de meka kire wo nyana se me se meka nkra ta wi ya ade bechi se de wa ye doso but the person my mouth is saying, "Oh, now we papa, papa. We need papa, papa. Obi and we pay. Then so John would dance. Why you move here with Sima? I dream pa. I dream pa. Ne proso. Odo. Eni se di ye tiny page. Mi nya usubi muda. Bemena. Mo na pa. Ene ya me person me come out here. Me nimsa wo kwa ba wo kwa. Oda so wa ha o ti me ne fi se mi ti o ne ene se mi ma wa chi nyina da de wa dua wo mi mu nyina ye be china o ma nya mo moda na mi se wa kuma so ade no 
Baby, be also that you could do ye. Some of them are afraid to do. Take it. Well, cool. I'm going to hear. It won't be better. It will be used to be. A bedroom or what? Over in your quarter. Why you be? Why you be? When you say, you couldn't make a say, you are my hero, my kid, the fighter. I love you, and I will cherish your memory forever. Till we meet again. Johnny, honey boy, take it, rest, and rest in peace. Amen.